Hello friends, my name is Renee and welcome to The Room 3. Uh, this one has multiple endings. We're going to try and get all of them. The first priority is just going to be to get whatever one I end with first, obviously, and to make it to the end. Because if uh, the, the jump in uh, difficulty from the room one to two was anything, I can only imagine how much harder room three is. Uh, as I have said previously, there is a fourth room game. I will not be playing it because it is VR only and I don't have a VR headset and I'm not going to be spending a thousand dollars on one. If you guys want to send me some sort of VR headset, I will gladly accept it. Hit me up. But otherwise, no, I'm not going to be playing the fourth one, unfortunately. Um, so I'll probably be watching a walkthrough of it because I really like this game. But uh, let's get into it. The Room 3. Loading. Loading. I'm on a train. <coughs> <coughs> they can drag to look around. Okay. Double click on the journal to focus on it. <coughs> July 5th. As is gone. His entire house is gone. Sorry. His entire house is gone. I dare not recount all that I saw. I would rather that I was insane and that those infernal boxes were but a figment of my fevered mind. I should not have ignored you. If only I had come sooner. If only I had not come at all. July 17th. I have awoken from the nightmare, but am forever haunted by it. There's a fingerprint here. Uh, I submerge myself in my work as if drawn to the memories, but it is no use. The null calls to me in my sleep and seizes any unoccupied moment to fulfill my thoughts with them, I am marked. July 19th. I have continued to petition the Royal Institute. There is something about their denials that does not sit with me. Their insistence is too shrill and determined to cover something as innocent as ignorance. July 21st. A breakthrough. As the Royal Institute rebuffed me once more, an undersecretary with a drawn look slid a packet into my jacket pocket as they passed. They refused to meet my eye as they hurried away. The packet included a torn page torn from a map of the south coast with an island circled. I leave on the first train. Oh, wow. Is that it? I think that's it. I really want there to be more though. That's okay. No. Well, hello. <sighs> so it begins. I have a key, but there's no keyhole in this box. The wooden surface looks strange. I should get the eyepiece for my suitcase. <laughs> Tutorials. My suitcase has some modifications. I require a degree of secrecy. Sometimes the eyepiece can be see used to see things that are otherwise hidden. I should use my eyepiece to the examine the curious box. Oh, tutorials. Ah. Here we go. Drag the key into the keyhole. Of course. An engraved pyramid. Elpis? Oh, come on. <sighs> what what happened? Where am I? Yeah, sure. Uh... 
of course. Straight into it, then. You were warned not to look for me, but you would not listen, and it has become necessary for me to find you. Welcome to Greyholm, the seat of my ancestors. Seldom few visitors have walked these halls, fewer still have walked free of them. In the past, I have drawn my subjects from the greatest minds of history. Each played their part, but none outlived it. Then all wraps it and its bonds all around, around all. All except you. It was a mistake to try and keep you away. I see now that I have a great need of you. If you can prove yourself worthy, your first task is to find something that will aid you in your trials ahead. Find it or never leave this room, and I will have gone to great effort in, in vain. The craftsman. Okay. A feather. Okay. I see. I see. Being that there is multiple endings to this, I I'm I really shouldn't have found that out before I played because now I'm going to be worried about every little choice I make, but that's okay. We're going to just do our best and hope that I don't screw up. All right, back to this then. The power of flight, the well of knowledge. That's a feather. My face is silent without my hands. The poor have tried it the poor have me, the rich need me. Would be nothing. <coughs> it is quite painful to watch how you blunder to and fro, half blinded by those crude lenses you stumbled upon. Allow me to pry the skulls from your eyes. These are instruments of a craftsman. They will allow you to see the universe as it truly is and reach into the unseen infinity of space that surrounds us. The craftsman. An ornate box. Some sort of mechanism keeping the box closed, I should take a closer look. Ooh. A lens. <coughs> Interesting. There's something strange on this door. What in the fudge? Whoa, that is weird. Okay. Oh, I can rotate the tumblers. Weird. You're a wizard, Harry. Any other sparkly things in here? Probably. Can I go back through the door? I can. Alright. Cool. Makes me feel a little better, I guess. What's this? Some sort of family crest tree. Okay. Hmm. A note. The key to the knoll will be forged here. I have given you the first piece. For safety, the remaining four are held separately to retrieve them and bring them to this font. Only then will you fulfill your destiny, the craftsman. Okay. You want the pyramid? Um, hey, what? A 
family crest. Can I take you back? No? Okay, that's fine. What's this? Can't click on it, that's fine. Um... What's this? Alright. Family Crest it is. Wait, what was that? Just a pillar. Okay. Uh... Oh. Okay. Yeah, of course. And we go. Another one of these rooms. What is this place? I have to find a way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Fire looks cool. Handle is locked in place. It's some sort of battery. Lighthouse in the distance. Okay. The switchboard. Oh. Okay, I don't want to pull that quite yet. Hold on. I haven't even looked at the other thing here. Oh, there's a lot of things here. Okay, let's start with this. Okay. What about you then? Can I turn these? No. Uh, all right. <clears throat> what does this note say? <clears throat> As you have discovered on your little adventures contained within the knoll is the power to transfer matter across space and time. I have watched you cross leagues and centuries just as some lesser individual might cross the street, but what of light years? What of eons? You have barely even begun to tap its potential. I have charted a world not unlike our own, yet incredibly distant. It is the source of the knoll. I have measured it, even seen it, but I cannot reach it, not without your help. But first, I must teach you how, and you must prove capable of learning, a craftsman. Okay. Alright, I guess I'm going to go flip that switch. All aboard.
Okay. I haven't even looked at the clock yet. Can we go back? I'll take that as a no. Well, okay. <clears throat> you know, this is gonna sound silly, but I think I'm gonna end that episode there. I know we just started this, but this is a good intro to how starting the room three. Um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. The internet's setting out. Bye.